ADMTS13 is an enzyme that regulates the size of von Willebrand factor multimers. When having an injured or inflamed vessel wall, von Willebrand factor multimers form a link between collagen and platelets. When the activity of ADMTS13 is lowered, large von Willebrand factor multimers may accumulate within the blood vessel and cause microvascular thrombosis. The Teclizim ADMTS13 activity ELISA is a chromogenic assay which detects the von Willebrand factor cleavage product by a very specific monoclonal antibody. The ELISA test strips, which are coated with a monoclonal anti-GST antibody, are delivered in an aluminum bag. This bag can be used to store spare ELISA test strips for later usage. The GST from Villebrand Factor 73 substrate needs to be reconstituted with 6 ml distilled water. Mix well and leave it at a room temperature for 15 minutes. As a following step, the substrate solution can be added to the monoclonal anti-GST antibody coated test strips. To prepare the wash buffer, the concentrate needs to be diluted with distilled water at a ratio of 1 to 10. After the incubation, the calibrators, controls and samples can be diluted with the reaction buffer at a ratio of 1 to 32. To remove excess sample material, a washing process has to be repeated three times. As a following step, the diluted samples, calibrators and controls need to be added to the monoclonal anti-GSC antibody strips. After the incubation, 
the Lysa plate needs to be washed again. Now, 100 microliters of conjugate solution need to be added to each well and left 60 minutes for incubation. The incubation of HRP conjugated antibody is directed against the cleavage site of von Willebrand factor 73 substrate. A third washing step needs to be conducted. The next step requires adding 100 microliters of TMB color reagent per well. After an incubation time of 30 minutes, the reagent colors the HRP substrate blue. To continue, a stop solution needs to be added. After adding the stop solution, the OD can be detected with your ELISA reader. Now the results can be analyzed by setting up a calibration curve and interpreting the sample values shown on this curve. Remember to check if the control values are in range. If you're interested in more information, on Adam TS Activity Eliza or further Adam TS 13 products, please visit our company website.